Just hey there everyone, it's me and welcome back to another video. And today what we're gonna be doing is tackling the question of whether or not the Nintendo Switch Lite is worth your time and money. This is a Nintendo Switch Lite. Let's talk about it. So, as I said earlier, is the Nintendo Switch Lite worth it? In my opinion, it is worth it because it is a portable only system that you can use outside, you can use whenever. However, the question is not, is it worth it for me? The question is, is it worth it for you? Um, and I would say it depends because if you do want the removable Joy-Cons, tabletop mode, docking, HD rumble, and the IR sensor of the Joy-Cons and the motion sensitivity, you definitely don't need the Switch Lite. However, if you want something to carry around, portable, it's durable, and you also just want to have uh, an entry-level system to the Switch ecosystem, then sure, get a Switch Lite. The reason why I would not recommend it for if you're trying to go for a regular Switch options is because the Joy-Cons are non-removable. There used to be a button over here that you can press and remove the Joy-Cons, but since this is a whole solid unit, you cannot remove the Joy-Cons. The other thing is, this does not have HD rumble. The physical chip that is responsible for the docking functionality is removed from the system, so you cannot even dock it, even if you bought a third-party dock, which will allow for the system to fit, because you cannot even fit it in the regular dock, because the sticks keep pushing against the plastic. The other thing is, um, it does not have HD rumble, in fact, it doesn't have any kind of rumble. The speakers are quite loud, which, if produced a deep enough sound, can make a feeling of rumble, but it's not the same. And honestly, it does not have any rumble, but for me it's not that much of a deal breaker. If any of these functions are a deal breaker for you, then don't get the Switch Lite. If these are sacrifices that you can live with, then go ahead, get the Switch Lite, it's absolutely doable. Gameplay-wise, the Nintendo Switch Lite is basically the same as a regular Nintendo Switch, the only difference is that it's stuck in permanent portable mode. However, this does not mean that it's bad because the graphics are essentially the same, even in portable mode, it's in 720p, but the images look a lot crisper on the smaller screen as this may feel like a bit of a paradox compared to the regular Switch. Because of the smaller screen, there is more pixel density, which means that images will look sharper on this screen. So if that's one of the features that you really want, then go ahead and get a Switch Lite, as I said earlier. But if it's something that you're not really interested in, go ahead and get a regular Switch, because it's... Um, basically just a slight downgrade of the regular Switch because the regular Switch does have like a 6.3 inch versus the 5.5 inch uh, display on the Switch Lite. As you see here, I'm playing Animal Crossing New Horizons on the Switch Lite and it's essentially the same game with the same graphics, just uh, slightly better in uh, terms of pixel density and just the sharpness of the image. Another big advantage to the Switch Lite is that it has a large amount of games, even if it is a lighter version of the regular Switch. Basically, if a game supports portable mode, the game is definitely going to work on the Switch Lite. However, some games like 1-2 Switch or games that require motion control and HD rumble functionality may not function properly on the Switch Lite, but still playable if you pair additional Joy-Cons, which is another advantage of the Switch Lite, is that you can actually pair Pro Controllers and additional Joy-Cons for additional play playing. Although, it's not really optimal because you really need to set, uh, set it on a table, but since it doesn't have a kickstand, you'll have to prop it up on something. Another great thing about the Switch Lite is that it has a very good battery life, which means that it will last you between 3 to 7 hours on a charge, depending on the type of game that you're playing and on the graphics intensity that the game 
is requiring. Which means that if you're playing something like Zelda Breath of the Wild, you will get an average of 4 hours. If you're playing something like Tetris or any other game, you will be getting somewhere close to approximately 6 or 7 hours. So, there you have it guys. The Switch Lite is definitely worth for those who are willing to take the risk and are willing to live with the current drawbacks of the Switch Lite. And probably um, some of you may not feel like this is a system for you and that's totally fine, but I am here to give you a quick rundown of what I just said and mentioned earlier in the video. So if you have like skipped along the, the line over here so you can have a basic rundown. Basically, the Switch Lite is a portable-only system, can remove the Joy-Cons, and uh, comes in colors. You can get this pretty cool turquoise-looking one. Uh, you can get a yellow one. You can get a gray one. Uh, specific, I don't know which regions have it, but there are specific coral pink versions that you can get as well. And there is a special edition Pokemon uh, Sword and Shield edition which is probably going to be the most expensive of the Switch Lite. But overall, it's a very nice system to have. Um, the reason uh, I may recommend it is if you're um, starting out in the Switch ecosystem, if you want to get a Switch for either uh, yourself or you just and, and you're just not sure if you're going to use the TV functionality or the um, removable Joy-Cons, uh, or as a gift to a younger child or younger sibling or someone who isn't very careful because this unit is actually very solid and because the uh, previous model, which is the base model, the original uh, Nintendo Switch has removable Joy-Cons, they basically have to sit on this rail which um, can bend the actual system a little bit and make it seem a less sturdy and a little bit flimsy. So, uh, a lot of people may have some problem with that, so that's why the Switch Lite is one solid unit. Um, the other advantage of the Switch Lite is that it's actually $100 cheaper. So, the regular Switch is $300, and the Switch Lite is uh, $200. Now, it totally depends on which version you want to buy, it totally depends on what you're looking for in a Switch system. So. Um, I hope that I managed to get my message across. I believe that the Switch Lite is a very good system for its price. And although it does have its own drawbacks and setbacks, it's relatively still a really good choice for anyone who's beginning any of the Switch uh, experiences. So that was all for me. Thank you guys for watching so much. Um, make sure to hit that like button and that subscribe button down below. Make sure to hit the bell as well so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video, if I upload soon of course. And that was all for me. Peace out. I'm out of here.